Hello, in this quick video, I'm going to use Blender's physics tools to create a waving flag. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything here. A, X, delete. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a plane. Shift A, mesh, plane. So I'm in the front view. I'm going to press 5 to go to front orthographic. Let's rotate it 90 degrees and rotate it on the Z axis 90 degrees so that we can see our flag. Now I'm just going to go ahead and define the shape of my flag. So maybe you go S, X. And let's scale it up. S Z S X, something like that. About what will be the shape of a flag? We're, we're going to use a clot simulation to simulate the waving flag, since that seems to be the only uh, logical uh, Blender physics tool to use. But the clot simulation needs vertex data. Uh, it can't simulate using just four vertices. It needs to be able to bend and crinkle, and for that, it needs vertex data. So to do this, we need to go ahead and subdivide. So I'm just going to press Control R and uh, create a loop there. This is mainly to create square vertices. If I, if I subdivide it without and so with W subdivide, it will create rectangular uh, faces and I don't want that. So I want to create more square faces. So that's why I create this. And maybe I might extend this out a bit more and extend this one out a bit more. So they look a bit more square. Now let's select all the vertices by pressing A, W, subdivide. So now they have more square shapes. So I'm just going to put the number of cuts to something like that, 10. And if you want more detailed and more realistic looking and a more realistic waving flag, um, you would probably want to have more vertices. So W again and subdivide. And I guess that's enough vertices for me to work off, I guess. So let's just keep it at that. So now I need to go ahead and turn this plane into an actual waving flag. So I'm just going to rename this to flag. And let's just go to the physics tab of the properties window now and enable cloth. So here's the moment of truth. Now when I play back my animation, I should see a cool waving flag. Nope, it just looks like a piece of paper, or not a paper, like a, a metal slab falling straight down. So that's not exactly accurate. And the main reason is because, well, first of all, the cloth is falling straight down. There's nothing to pin or hold the flag in its spot. So we need to be able to pin the flag at this point here. So to do that, I have to go into the edit mode. I want to select all the vertices that I want to pin. So box select these vertices here. These are going to be pinned and not be affected by clot simulation. So to do that, first of all, I have to create a vertex group. So let's go to the data tab of the properties window. And under vertex groups, I'm just going to press the plus button. So this will create a new group for our vertices. I'm just going to name it, say pinned. And now to assign these vertices to this group, I need to press assign. So if I want to confirm that, I just deselect everything and select the pinned and then press select. So we, yep, we can see that these vertices are grouped under the name pinned. But this is not enough to obviously make our, our cloth move like cloth because the vertex group just simply groups vertices into a name. That's all it does. We need to tell the cloth simulation that don't move if the vertices have a, a vertex group of pinned. So in our plot simulation, in the physics tab, we have a, a feature called pinning. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that. And I'm going to select the vertex group that we created, pinned. And now if we play back our animation, it looks more like a flag. Problem is, it's sort of colliding in on itself. And that's, that's a little bit weird. So to fix that issue, all you have to do is in the Cloth Collision Settings, Enable Self Collision. I might bump up the quality to 2. This is better for more realistic self collision. Uh, but increasing this will obviously improve the realism of its collision, but it will obviously take a lot longer. It might take a bit of a beating on your CPU as well. So you can obviously control things like the friction, the repel distance, the, and uh, the distance before the collision takes effect and things like that. So that looks a bit better. At least it doesn't look like it's colliding in on itself. So that's good. Okay. Um, currently it looks like a flag that's waving on a very non-windy day. We want to have one of those majestic scenes where the flag waves proudly. So to do that, we need to have a force field. So to create a force field, all I have to do is press Shift A, force field, and wind. Obviously we will want the flag to move according to the wind. So that's why we add a wind force field. I want to move the wind in this direction. So R90. 
And if we play back our animation now, the wind doesn't seem to take any effect on our flag. And the main reason for that, well, the strength is not enough. So let's make it. So let's make it a bit more stronger. So first of all, I'm just going to stop this animation, and then play it again. Let's make the strength quite large. Let's say 200. So now our flag is behaving a little bit better. But however, this the wind is quite uniform. It's blowing at a consistent rate of 200, uh, whatever is a meters per second or whatever. Um, so we don't want to be uniform. Wind is quite random. It's quite rare that we have uniform wind. We always have uh, periods where the wind is blistering and strong and periods where the wind is quite calm. It's not always uniform. So let's add a bit of noise. Let's just say 50. Alright, I've just increased the strength to 500. And now we can see our flag starting to wave a bit more proudly. Let's make it 700 and it starts to look even better 900 and there we go our flag is now waving proudly so I'm just going to go ahead and enable smooth on that shading so it looks a lot better and how does that look there's our proud waving flag so you could throw in a texture of your country here render it out and um, show it off to your friends so that's how you create a simulation of a waving flag in Blender using the Blender physics tools. So I hope this video has been useful to you. Keep blending and I hope to see you next time.